Back for more Shakespeare. We're still in Act 3, Scene 4 of Cymbeline. Wow, we've got some really bad hair going on today. But that's okay because we're using a hat because today is a conversation between Imogen and Pisanio. Imogen and Pisanio are on their way to Milford Haven where Posthumus is supposedly located. She's going to see him and like finally consummate the marriage and Pisanio is accompanying her with instructions that he's supposed to kill her when they're getting close but he doesn't really want to because he kind of likes her and not necessarily like likes her likes her but thinks that she's a decent person and he doesn't want to have to kill her and yeah so they as they're approaching Milford Haven as you remember yesterday she's like come on like are we almost there and he hands her the letter that Posthumus had sent to him so she has just read the letter wherein Posthumus flat out says kill Imogen before you get to Milford Haven and she's kind of dealing with all of that so this will be a conversation between Imogen and Pisanio okay and bear with me and the bad hair this is a little bit long but it's like important plot stuff and it's a bunch of like little monologues put together so it just sort of reads like one anyway here we go so she's just she's just read the letter where he's like she was unfaithful to me so kill her and she's like, false to his bed. What is it to be false? To lie and watch there and to think on him? To weep twixt clock and clock? If sleep change nature and break it with a fearful dream of him and cry myself awake, that's false to his bed, is it? Alas, good lady, I false. Thy conscience witness, Giacomo. Thou didst accuse him of inconsten incontinency. Then thou looks like a villain. Now, methinks, thy favor's good enough. Some Jay of Italy, whose mother was her painting, hath betrayed him. Poor I am stale, a garment out of fashion. And for I am richer than to hang by the walls, I must be ripped to pieces with me. Oh. Men's vows are women's traitors, all good seeming by thy revolt. O oh, husband, shall be thought, put on for villainy, not born where it grows, but worn a bait for ladies. Good madam, hear me. True, honest men being heard, like false Aeneas were, in his time thought false, and Sinon's weeping did scandal many a holy tear, took pity for most true wretchedness. So thou, posthumous, will lay the leaven on all proper men. Goodly and gallant shall be false and perjured from thy great fail. Come, fellow, be thou honest. Do thy master's bidding. When thou seest him, a little witness, my obedience. Look, I draw the sword myself. Take it and hit the innocent mansion of my love. My heart, fear not. It's empty of all things but grief. My master is not there, who was indeed the riches of it. Do his bidding, strike. Thou mayst be valiant in a better cause, but now thou seemst a coward. Hence, vile instrument, thou shalt not uh, damn my hand. Why? I must die. And if I do it not by thou, and if I do not by thy hand, thou art no servant of thy master's. Against self slaughter, there is a prohibition so divine that cravens my weak hand. Come, here's my heart. Something, something's for it. Soft. Soft will no defense, obedient as the scabbard. What is here? The scriptures of the loyal Leonatus all turned to heresy? Away, away, corruptors of my faith. You shall no more be stomachers to my heart. Thus may poor fools believe false teachers. Though those that are betrayed do feel the treason sharply, yet the traitor stands in the worst case of woe. And thou, posthumous, that didst set up my disobedience against the king, my father, and makes me put into contempt the suits of princely fellows, shall hereafter find it is no act of common passage, but a strain of rareness. And I grieve myself to think, when thou shalt be disedged by her, that now thou tirest on how thy memory 
will then be panged by me. Pretty dispatch. The lamb entreats the butcher. Where's thy knife? Thou art too slow to do thy master's bidding when I desire it too. Oh, gracious lady, since I received command to do this business, I have not slept one wink. Do it! And to bed then. I'll wake my eyeballs first. So yeah, it's a pretty intense scene. And wow, my hair's going like every which way in this moment. Um, she goes through all of the signs of grief because her now she knows what's actually going on and it hurts like a you know what and Pisanio is trying to calm her down and he's not doing very well at it and he's also trying to let her know that he doesn't really want to have to kill her so we will find out tomorrow whether or not he actually does because we get another Imogen Pisanio conversation tomorrow yay I'll see you then for that Mwah.